Hey guys, welcome back to Pam's Cutting Board. So it's Saturday morning when I'm filming this and I was going to make some chili out of some leftovers that I had and uh, I got started and then I thought, why not film it? So Wayne's busy uh, doing something else, so I'm gonna film it, but I did wanna update you guys on his echo. Doctor called um, Friday, yesterday, and said that everything was good. So, um, so I think it was just the bronchitis that was making his chest hurt and giving him chest pains. Uh, he's, he'll be in here to do the taste test for us. But um, it's Saturday. I've got a few things planned. I've got to do some um, homework, and then I'm going to finish decorating for Christmas. I've got um, most of the decorating done, but I still have to do the dining room and clean the dining room up. It Everything is just crammed in the dining room. Wayne barely can't get through. There's a little path that he, he can get through to the kitchen. So I've got to put all the totes away and, and clean up basically and finish the dining room. So uh, I wanted to make some chili early and that way I don't have to cook the rest of the day. We can just snack on it or have a sandwich or something uh, later on after we have our chili uh, if we get hungry. But um, what I'd done yesterday, I had made some tacos and I had a little bit of the taco meat left. And we got engrossed in a movie, and I forgot about it, and the meat almost burnt. Uh, there's still a little bit that's that's brown, but I was able to savage it, and uh, I think there's enough to make this little pot of chili, um, and it's going to be leftovers. I usually like to use tomato juice or um, tomato sauce or something in my chili, I don't have any of that, so I'm going to take some um, diced tomatoes, and I'm going to put them in my uh, food processor and uh, blend those up. So, you know, nowadays, we have to use everything. We can't waste anything. Groceries is so expensive, so um, I'm just going to show you kind of what I'm doing out of what I have. Uh, I also do have um, a video of chili that I make with the things that I normally put in it. And uh, so if you wanna check it out versus this one, you can. But I wanted to update you on um, Wayne's um, televisit from the doctor and uh, just Saturday morning spending with us while uh, I make chili out of some leftovers. And um, I might show you some of my decorations too. So um, let's get started. I'm gonna turn you guys down and I'm gonna chop some onion. And I'd already chopped about a half of a green pepper that I had laying in the fridge. So I'm gonna turn you down and let you guys see it. Okay, here's my half of a green pepper that I've got. And here's just kind of a medium to small onion. I'm gonna chop up. And I'm gonna saute these in a little bit of uh, oil. It's actually less than a week before Thanksgiving, so I've took down my fall decorations and I put up my Christmas. I know that's probably not the right thing to do, but I love Christmas. I love to decorate, and it takes me a while. I have a quite a bit of Christmas decor, so it takes me a little bit of while. A little bit of while. A little bit of time. Maybe two tablespoons of oil in my little pan here that I'm going to make my chili. I got my burner on medium low and we're going to saute these a little bit because here's the meat. It's already been cooked and it's got taco seasoning in it. But that'll be all right. It's not going to hurt the taste of chili. Keep looking. I've got two lights in my kitchen. I've got one back here and one right over top of us. And if I'm on that side where we was just a minute ago, uh, I have to turn this light off. And then when I move over here, I have to turn that light off because if not, it'll glare. And sometimes I forget. So I was looking back there to see, make sure I had it turned off. So 
we're just kind of making do with what we've got. I'm not going to run to the store. Um, I've got next week off um, for Thanksgiving. I don't have to work. And I've got um, a project. I'm going to do some work in my laundry room. So I don't want to run to the store. I want to try to um, cook with what I have. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be possible, but I'm going to try to do it. We're not going to, um, I'm not going to cook for Thanksgiving. Um, I, I cook every day at work. I, I usually cook a big meal every Thanksgiving and every Christmas. But this year, with groceries being so high and everything, I'm going to kind of scale it down. Got nine days off, including the weekends. So, I'm going to try to get my laundry room done. I'm going to get it painted, uh, some new flooring down. And uh, so, I'm just going to focus on that. It's just going to be me and Wayne. So, we may just, I don't know, eat sandwiches. I don't know what we'll do. But um, Wayne, he was like, you're not going to cook? I'm like, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. But uh, I'm going to turn you guys down. And um, we're going to add our um, vegetables to her pan. So hold on. Okay. Just gonna go ahead and add these vegetables. I should have saved some of this onion to add to my bowl of chili because when I get out a bowl of chili, I like to add a little bit of onion, green onion if I've got it, but I don't have it. Um, but some onion, um, sour cream, and some cheese. That's That's my toppers. Wayne likes cheese. Sometimes he'll eat a little onion, but it all depends on his mood. I'm going to put a little bit of pepper in this. I'm not going to put any salt because I did add a packaged taco seasoning to my meat. And it's got salt in it, so don't want to get it too salty. Also, I'm using, I don't have a canned beef broth. So I'm using the bouillon cubes. I heated the water up in the microwave and, oh, and that has salt too. So we don't want to get it too salty. At the end, I can taste it. And if it needs a little salt, I can add it at that point. But uh, I don't want to add it right now. Because I'm thinking I probably won't need it. Okay, I'm going to turn this up just just a little bit not hardly on medium because I don't want them to burn I just want them to get a little bit soft so we can add the rest of it okay what I'm gonna do next let me show you So this is backwards because I'm doing the selfie mode where I'm filming, but this is chili beans. It's red beans with mild chili sauce. I have one or two cans of those. I got a little tomato paste. I had a couple tablespoons of that. And I've got different brands here. I've got some of the Del Monte no salt um, diced tomatoes. I'll put those in the food processor and blend those up with the stewed tomatoes and make me a tomato sauce. And then I will probably just add these whole, the diced tomatoes with green chili. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, pause you guys, and get the food processor out and process those tomatoes to where it's a smooth sauce. And then I'll bring you guys back. Let me get a knife and get this lid off. Now, you guys don't see it on camera, but I do wipe these lids off, the top or the top of the cans off. So I wipe these off. And this is I've just got a little mini food processor. I had a bigger one and I never did use it. And I gave it to my sister. Then, right after I gave it to her, I needed it. So, and I'm not about to ask for it back. That's hers now. So, I just used a little mini one I got. 
But this is how if you don't have tomato sauce or tomato juice and you need it, just just process you um, puree you up some tomatoes. Okay, you see, and it don't have to be perfectly smooth because I'm gonna put some some diced tomatoes in my chili anyway. But I just kind of wanted it more like a liquid. And guys, if you go to um, any Mexican restaurant, you know how they bring the uh, salsa and the chips to you? This is a good way to do that. That's exactly how I make it. I take me some tomatoes, some diced tomatoes. Um, I usually, I don't, I usually don't do fresh. I do canned, but I suppose you could do fresh. And I just puree them, put me some garlic, black pepper, and um, if you want to add a little bit of sugar, if you want more of a sweeter taste, you can. And that's how I make my salsa for my chips. Okay, here we go. Making a mess. I wouldn't be cooking, though, if I wasn't making a mess. We're back over to the stove. I'm going to turn you guys down and let you look at the... Uh, onions and the peppers they are they're soft and they're ready to for me to add my meat you see how they've got a little bit the onions a little bit translucent and the green pepper is it's not as green it's kind of a, a different color green but that's what you want and you want to stir it occasionally so you're your vegetables don't stick to the, the pot. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the meat. And you can see here where I just about, that was on the bottom, I just about burn it. But it, it, it didn't taste bad. It didn't taste burnt. It was just, I just caught it. Let's get ready to go to bed and, um, I come over to the kitchen and I seen where my stove was on. So we want to heat that back up. And this is going to make a good size pot of chili. But whenever I make soups and chilies, I make quite a bit because me and Wayne will eat on it for several days. And um, then if we get tired of it and I still have some left over, you can always freeze it and that's what I do too so it's not wasted a lot of times though we don't have any left over if I was working this next week coming up Wayne would take this and he would eat it on hot dogs which I make a different hot dog chili it doesn't have beans this is gonna have beans um, and it's it's drier this has kind of got a little more juice in it so you can put crackers or cornbread. Some people eat cornbread with their chili. We usually just eat crackers, so. But he will, you know, he would just devour this next week. But we will eat it because I won't be cooking so much because I'll be working. I'll be working in the uh, laundry room. Okay. I'll take a sip of my coffee. And this garlic. A lot of times I don't measure. This is just jarred minced garlic. Best thing ever. I'm going to say that's a good, good teaspoon, teaspoon and a half. Let me see if my beef broth is. Yeah, all the cubes is melted. So we'll go ahead and add a little bit of that. And we'll turn it up on medium. I had it on medium low. Now I'm going to turn my burner up a little bit. Just add a little bit of that right now.
I'm going to add, I don't know, probably a couple tablespoons of the tomato paste. I'm just going to smush it around, mix it in, let it cook. Got a little bit of cumin. And I don't use a measure. I just usually put it in there. This is a good teaspoon of it. So I'm trying to measure. And hopefully it'll be on the, the money. I am going to put probably a tablespoon of the chili powder. And then we'll taste it and see if we need any more. Or if I put too much in it, we're just going to have to eat it because you can't take it out. Now, you could use the uh, packaged uh, chili seasoning mix if you wanted to, but it's it's got salt in it. And then you've already got salt with your um, your beef broth. So, just keep that in mind. If you're watching your salt or anything like that. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my tomato sauce. I don't know that I'll use all of this. If not, though, I can put it in the fridge and use it for something else. And the rest of her beef broth. What's mommy doing? Do you hear that, guys? Who has entered the room? We'll add my chili beans. I am making you supper. It'll be lunch and supper today. Well, I thought the carpet had caught on fire. <laughs> we don't have carpet, dummy. <laughs> <laughs> don't have <help> fire. <laughs> <laughs> He's being crazy. He being uh, crazy. Well, no, the carpet. I've been spamming that. Was... He's insinuating it's it's not. It don't smell good. I tell you what. How about him not eating it? He can fix his own, and I'll share with you guys. What do you think? Yeah, I didn't say that. Yeah, you said, you basically said my food was smelling bad. Hey, let's give the Lord a good pray and praise, because they, they can't find anything wrong with me. Except maybe... No brain. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so. Yep, they called and said, his heart's fine, but we can't find a brain. <laughs> that was your x-ray. Huh? That was my x-ray? Yeah. <laughs> We're being goofy today. Mommy, let them see something real pretty. Let them see something real pretty. Yeah. Well, I've already let them see me. I said pretty, not beautiful. <laughs> I'm just going to let that cook. I may go ahead and add the rest of that tomatoes. I don't know. Hold what on. I'll let you see something pretty. What are you fixing? Uh, one of Wayne's favorites? I'm fixing. We're going to have chili. It's a cold day here in Kentucky. So, so we'll eat chili. Hold on. Ooh, moving you guys around. <laughs> Hey everybody. What's that in your lap? This is Daddy's boy. Bent bent. Tell everybody hi. Say hi, Bent. Say hi, everybody. Hi, Bentley. Bentley, say hi. He's running. No, he's just repositioning. 
Oh, posing. You can see my little bit of decoration back here, my Santa Claus, my little sled in the corner. She's got the living room decorated. Yep. And the kitchen. I've got to do the uh, dining room today. But I just want to say hi to everybody. Um, just pray for me. I'm still a little short of breath. Don't know what's causing that. And I really I don't believe I worry about it much. Just pray. Because prayers got me through and everything else. There's Miss Emily. She's her she a was, little girl that likes her, her blanket. She was born right on the porch. She loves to sit in her daddy's lap and suck her blanket. <laughs> I sound like I'm doing a, a dating commercial. <laughs> or they they like they like long walks on the beach, but that's what she likes to do. Okay. But uh, I'm gonna finish this. I'm gonna let it um, simmer there for uh, maybe 45 minutes or so. I'll let all the flavors get together, and I'll taste test and see if I need to add anything. And um, I'm going to work on the dining room and get it decorated. I usually set a table for the holidays, so I'll probably put a, a tablecloth on and um, put me some plates down. don't normally do that, though, unless it's the holidays. And um, we will come back and do a taste test once it's done. Somebody wanted some Salisbury steak. That'll be coming up, what, next week? next few days what i've got to do is um when we go to church tomorrow i'll have to stop by and get a bell pepper because i used the bell pepper for this chili and uh, maybe a little bit more ground beef and we'll do a, a salisbury it's been requested so and that's one of wine's favorite too so we'll see you guys back in a little bit hey guys i wanted to pop back on here I had a little bit of tomato sauce that I didn't use. Probably half a cup, three quarters of a cup. So this is gonna be this is this video is gonna be a two for you know, two recipes. So what I did was I took the t leftover tomato sauce, I added some black pepper, a little bit of salt, because tomatoes you have to have salt in my opinion. So I added salt to this, black pepper and some garlic and just mixed it up probably I don't know half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of garlic salt and black pepper to taste mixed it up and this is my version of salsa the Mexican salsa so got some chips here from got some chips here from last night from the tacos There you go. You can just try it. It's it's not a real thick consistency. It's not chunky, but you could add tomatoes and make it chunky if you wanted to. If you're making the chili and you've got a little bit of tomato sauce left over, make you some sauce. A little munch on this till the chili gets done. Guys, it's actually the next day. We forgot to film yesterday doing the um Taste test. Let me turn you guys around. So we went to church and then we come back and we wanted a little snack. So we're going to get us another little bowl of chili and that's going to be our snack tonight. What kind of bowl of chili? <laughs> a big bowl of chili. <laughs> and I'm claiming God's healing and just going with it. We had a great service. The, um, Cornerstones, yeah, was uh, at our church. They were singing tonight, so we had an excellent service. They were uh, about 40 years ago when I first, my first message, uh, 41 years ago, 
the first message I ever preached in church. They were supposed to sing at our church. Well, our pastor got up and said they had to cancel out. And we had a lot of visitors at the church and half the church got up and left. And here I was, a young minister, first message, and half the church left. But I prayed, I preached, and God saved the lady. So see if we just keep holding on to Jesus. He'll give us the victory. I'm going to try to put out a preaching video in a little while. Love you. Remember the prayer book and uh, remember one another. Yeah, I'm going to show you some of the Christmas decorations. I have finished decorating. Here's the tree. It's a, a skinny tree, and we have had this thing about 20 plus years. 20 years. 20 plus. We've yeah. had it, yeah, we've had it a long time. And um, we've took good care of it. It's still a beautiful tree. I have no plans on getting a new one. Do you want to look at that chili while you're over there, please? Perfect. Thank you. Here's here's our little Miss Santa and Santa Claus. There's the sleigh, the snowman. They're sitting on the edge of the uh, entertainment center. Then this corner, we've got our moose little tree, and I just stuck him in a cup. And her little angel. She changes colors. I love the angel. And I, I don't know if I should show you my coffee table or not. Um, it's shoved over here in the corner, so we've got Wayne's got more room. And there's my lotion, his sunglasses, his drink, and then there's the remote and um, my laptop and my study books for school. But I love this right here. I got the tray from Hobby Lobby. This I got at um, a little, it's like an indoor flea market kind of, next, uh, close to our house. And then this little tree came from Walmart. And I just, I thought that was so cute there. And um, a lady that I used to work with, she made the uh, poinsettia candlesticks, candle holders I should say. And uh, normally when all the stuff is cleared off, the other one will be sitting on the other side and it all pretty. But this, this is real life. This is how we live normally. And look at the babies. They... What about the Santa Claus that's about to fall off? Yeah. Wayne, Wayne says he thinks they're about to fall off. But they're just sitting on the corner. Um, the dogs, they when we go somewhere, they stay outside in the yard, so they were happy to get back in and uh, get in a good warm house. Of course, they've got dog uh, houses outside. We don't have real ones because I know they're extremely poisonous. I know to cats, and I'm assuming to dogs too. So these are they're just silk. We've had them for years, and we've got a little truck. Another little Christmas tree. And then here's just another little arrangement. This is what we keep our car keys in. And a little clock. Okay. Take you over. Let me turn on the light. It's kind of dark over here. Then here's our fireplace. I should turn the uh, 
fireplace on. Hold on. There we go. Oh, yes. That looks much better. This thing right here is our laundry. It's our laundry room, and we just got a piece of panel in there to keep the dogs out. We've got a gate, but we, we use it on the kitchen sometimes. So that's keeping them out. Okay, we're gonna go over to the dining room. And I'll show you how I've got the dining room decorated. Let's stop by here first. Here's some more paneling. We're gonna use that to fix our laundry room up. This is dark. Let me get a light turned on. Probably making you guys dizzy. But we got a little sleigh down here. Another little angel. Some these are candles. I've had those for years. I got the light on. Oh, over there. Yeah, leave it on. Then here's our little some little buildings. And then here's the cutest little thing. I got that at the Dollar Tree. Hold on, let me turn it on. Okay, look at that. Five dollars at the Dollar Tree. Is that not cute? This, this tree I had over in the living room beside the TV, but we're gonna move it over here. Here's Miss Minnie. I need to move Wayne's tray <laughs> so we can see the, my uh, dining room table. I set it for the holidays. I, what I done, I decorated the whole house and then I just, I thought I don't have nothing to put on my dining room table as a centerpiece. And I just kind of used some of my leftover pieces, but I love the way it turned out. And here's some of my cookie jars. There's my person way. I got me some cookie jars I've collected over the years. There's Miss Morgan. And here's um, a little tree. It's just like a little four foot white tree. I've got it decorated purple, silver, and green. That's the only colors in that. The other tree was just traditional. It had all the ornaments we collected over the years. Here's... <laughs> here's my mop. I gotta let me move it. Oh, guys, this is real life. But here's our little Christmas village. I love it. And I've got some of the um, lights underneath all of them so it looks just like it's lit up you guys see why you run the camera I know well I really hadn't intended on showing everything tonight I was gonna do it in the morning but I thought why not so you guys are seeing real life the mops prop because if I put the mop outside on the porch it freezes it's really cold right now so I just prop it up over there and uh, <laughs> I really hadn't staged everything moved everything so this is how we really live I love the nativity scene Wayne's over there feeding his face I 
And this is just a little bird cage. I usually have a candle in it, but I took the candle out and put a couple of snowmen. They're broke on the back side of them. So I put them in here, put some greenery. Here's another arrangement. Wayne and I made these out of coat hangers, just some leftover ornaments, and put a ribbon on it. That's one you made. Yeah, me and you made it. Mm hmm Years ago. Yeah, all of our stuff is old. In there. We had this thing. We bought that not long after we got married. We got that at Big Lots. It's probably 30 some years old. Mm -hmm. Here's another one we made. I think Wayne made this one and I made that one. I think's how it went. Mm -hmm. And then here's our Santa. I love him. I just love him. Yeah, yeah, it does. Okay, hold on, I gotta stir the chili. And then, here's our little tray. And I keep this in the corner and I change it out for the seasons. I had the little truck in there for Thanksgiving. Now it's got uh, Christmas trees, a little snow globe, a little snowman tree and a little sign. This is Be Merry. Movie Salt and Pepper. What in movie Salt and Pepper? I told them, Wayne, this is real life. This, the house ain't staged like some of these pretty houses. This, this is the way we live. <laughs> I got a few decorations up there. Some angels here. Show them the wreath you changed. Little tree. Little tree. What? The wreath that you changed. Oh, yeah. Wayne's been snacking on some nuts. I got my cheese and sour cream for the chili. I'm thinking about redoing this. This, um, here. This wreath. Then watch, under... Watch little more. Under the stove, we've got some salt and pepper shakers, little snowmen. We've got a couple there. Pog Pog right behind you, Daddy. And here's our chili. We're going to get us a bowl. This is, we've already eat yesterday out of it, so this will be our second. Tomorrow we'll probably have hot dogs, and Tuesday we'll probably, um, I don't know, I may make some cornbread, make like a casserole out of it, put some of this in a casserole dish and make, stir up my cornbread batter, pour over it and bake it, make it a little bit different. I think that's everything that we've got. Ah! Did I scare a thief? There's Bentley. He stays right there with his dad. And this is our Miss Morgan. She is, I forget, she's either 13, 14, or almost 15. 15, 15. She's, she's been with us a long time. In the house the whole time. She's our baby. Mm, she needs prayer. Yeah, she's, she's getting so old that she's lost a tooth and she's having trouble seeing and it is going to break her hearts when she passes but now she seems in good health it's just um she's having trouble seeing things ain't you baby morgan where's baby morgan that's your morgan that's your baby but now you're going to have some sad, sad mom and dad right here when that one passes. Okay. And she gets a few little extra treats because she is the oldest. But 
here's our chili. We are going to get a bowl, and I'm going to let Wayne taste test it on camera. Then we're going to end it here, and um, I'll have to go tomorrow to town and upload the video for you guys. So. Uh, send prayer request. Yep. Go ahead. If you have prayer requests, put them in comments or email, either one, and know that we'll be praying and um, you guys remember my nephew Blake keep praying for him body and soul and uh, I got a just a special request ask that y'all remember us and that and remember Pam and I and please pray for the show. Uh, we've had some people get unsubscribed. Don't know how or why, but you might want to check to see if you're subscribed. If you're not, hit the button and uh, subscribe and the bell and everything. And uh, that way you'll be notified. I'm talking like I know what I'm talking about. You know me. <laughs> uh, we love you. Have a happy Thanksgiving if you get to see this before Thanksgiving. I don't think we'll be doing another video before Thanksgiving because we're just going to have, it's going to be like a normal day for us. Um, like I told you guys earlier, I've got some painting and um, laying down some floor in the uh, laundry room so we'll be working on that and not doing a big thanksgiving dinner so mm. um but for christmas i'll show you how i'm going to make my uh, cornbread dressing and a few other little things so but we love you guys and this is this will be a long video but um you know we hope that you watch it all the way through if you don't though you can hit the the fast forward but we hope you don't we hope you watch it but we love you guys happy thanksgiving and you are family mean that yeah we'll you be right back family. in a second though i know you guys want to see Wayne taste the chili so but once he tastes it then we'll just pop off and um end the video but hold on see you in a minute so so we've this is our second meal out of it and we'll have enough we'll just need a little bit for hot dogs tomorrow and then i'll have enough to make a small casserole so we'll get four meals out of it and um so we're gonna eat us a bowl of chili watch a movie and i don't work next week so bedtime is whenever we want to go to bed <laughs> Taste test for us, Mr. Maggard. Hello, Lisa March. Be good. <laughs> He's been mean again. We have a lot of you faithful subscribers. <laughs> I told you to blow on it. <laughs> mm -mm. But we eat ours with crackers. We've got us some crackers. We, um, we like Zesta crackers is what we, I use a lot of generic brands, but when it comes to crackers, no, we want the Zesta. That's her favorite. I like the tasty. Hmm. You put peppers in it too. Is that peppers? Mm hmm Put green pepper, onion. Those peppers, onion, uh, tomatoes. And uh, it's good. It's a spicy, but not overly spicy. We like spice, though. Uh huh. But I feel mine full of crackers. So enjoy. Enjoy. Make you some. It's Eat good. it up. Have a good Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. And uh, be careful. Yeah, if you're traveling, be careful. 
Love you guys. Bye bye.